In a world where robots walk among us and artificial intelligence evolves beyond our control, a new era has dawned. One where the lines between man and machine blur and the news of our world takes on a new face. Stay tuned for more updates on the future of technology and robotics. Welcome to RBAI News. I am Ray Sean Blyden. How many of us uses chat GPT use your raise your hand? What about Claude? And a little I I don't know. I use I guess I'm just kind of used to to uh chat GPT. It's just like and even though Claude may be better, it's almost like if you're used to something and you're so you like the format and you just uses that, it's just hard to switch it switch it up even though if something is better sometimes you should and you have to but i i just like the the way how chat gpt how it works i have used claude in some use cases it's just like when it comes to the to the ai music generators suno is the is the one that captured my attention first and then you have this other one that's what is the name of it? I can't think of the name of it. Who's what's arguably they said it's arguably better, and I've I've watched it, but I just don't. I've tried it. I can't think of it. If anyone knows the name of the other one, the other music AI generator, let me know in the comments. I can't think of the name, but there's no doubt that the voices are so much better than Suno. But with Suno, the music aspect is better and then they both rolled out their stems and I've, I've watched tutorial i mean not tutorials i've watched other content creators who are in the ai space do comparisons and sooner i won't even use it's embarrassingly bad i will continue to use i have an external stem program that i use that just blows away what Suno is doing. It's more in the line with, and I can't think of the name of the other music generator. That one is pretty good. But what I don't like about that other one, man, I can't remember. I hate when I can't remember names. With that other format is that you have to, it creates songs by 30 second clips. This is gonna drive me nuts. I don't wanna do that. Whereas with Suno, in one clip, you could it could go, three minutes straight through or, or, you know, two minutes at minimum. So I, I like, I just wish that Suno would improve on the audio for aspects of it. Cause the uh, audio, it, it's good, but the other format, the other platform is way superior when it comes to the audio vocals of it. So anyway, I straight way off topic. I have not even started. Talk, well, not really, because this brings us to this story here where Google's Gemini 1.5 Pro dethrones ChatGPT. So let's see what this is. Google's experimental Gemini 1.5 Pro model has surpassed OpenAI's GPT-4 in generative AI benchmarks. For the past year, OpenAI's chat GPT, I mean GPT, and Anthropic's Claude 3 have dominated the landscape. However, the latest version of Gemini 1.5 Pro appears to have taken the lead. Now, I have no idea with benchmarks and how it works. So I'm not gonna pre even pretend that I know about this stuff. So, but if you do, you're into benchmarks, let me know if this is a game changer for you and would you start to use Google's uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro instead of whatever you're using now. One of the most widely recognized benchmarks in the AI community is its L LMSYS chatbot arena 
which evaluates models on various tasks and assigns an overall competency score. On this leaderboard, GPT-4 achieved a score of 1,286, while Claude 3 secured a, com uh, a commendable 1,271, a previous iteration of Gemini 1.5 Pro had scored 1,261 pre previously. But what is it at now? I, I, you could see the, some models here and uh, the numbers, but let's just look at what's number one right here. Gemini 1.5 Pro. The score is 1,300, which surpassed everything on the board there, followed by Chat GPT at 1,286, and Claude in uh, fourth place there. So I'm curious to know if this will change your mind. Like I said, I shouldn't be. I should be looking for for. Um, better ways to use and utilize these technologies but i just the infrastructure matters and i i you know being into music the infrastructure of suno i just like it better now if the voices were so terrible that i, I couldn't use it then i'd probably think about going to the other one but i just don't want i just don't like how it's set up with the 30 second clip at a time exp extended from 30 seconds i don't like that so until they get over that hurdle i'm not going to subscribe and i'm i have enough subscriptions already i'm up to the neck to my eyeballs in subscription like i said i have two text to image but this new format this new platform i'm very much and i think i'm i'm pretty certain i'm going to to go ahead and subscribe to that so that'll be it's adding up monthly all of my subscriptions are, are adding up I, I need to cut it off at one i can't max you know a hundred dollars a month is more than i can afford if i don't if none of these platforms or things that i'm producing with the ai if it does not bring in any revenue i can't sustain it not sustainable and and you no know, I, I don't have sponsors or donations coming in so it's very difficult to keep on you know it now it'd be different if i was you know not living paycheck to paycheck in the for lack of better words i can't keep on keeping this up and if i'm not getting any donations any any sponsors what have you although to be fair I've not been reaching out to any sponsors. I don't know. I'm not good at marketing and, and selling myself. That's, I can't pay someone to do it either. So that's where I stand. But anyway, I'm straying off topic here. It's worth noting that while benchmarks provide valuable insights into an AI model's performance, they may not always accurately represent the full spectrum of its abilities or limitations in real world applications. That's a fair point there. Exciting news from Chat GPT Arena, as we just read there. Gathering 12K community votes. I don't know if this stuff really matters. So there's more here, but I'm not going to, there's not much more to go. I'm not going to read any more of this here, but it's, for me, it, it just boils down to liking the form. If I don't like a platform's format and the UI rather, it's not in a user-friendly sort of way, like, the, like it's a new platform that I'm using. Um, I just love it. And the community of it is like, it's not just like with all the other ones with the mid journeys and the uh what's the other one mid journey and uh 
and Leonardo, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like a like a community. It, it doesn't because I don't like I have I have um what do you call it? I have used Discord, but I'm not a disc I don't like being in Discord. I don't really like it. So I'm happy that Mid Journey finally you can go straight to Mid Journey. It's still in alpha mode, but you can go there and create without going into Discord. And that's the one thing you know that was that's almost stopped me from using Mid Journey. So and Leonardo does not have that issue. You could go straight to their website and use and use the um use it that way. So if push comes to shove, you know, I'm I'm probably gonna give it an, a six month evaluation and see if any if if it's not sustainable, I'm gonna probably drop mid journey in an opt for the new platform because I just can't sustain them all on top of all of my other AI subscriptions. And that's just AI subscription. I have other subscription and monthly things that is just overwhelming for for a paycheck to paycheck guy. So uh again the show is brought to you by my RY RYB design shop if you want AI art for your home it comes in museum quality canvas and I would uh, check back daily because I'm always adding but these are uh, some of my better pieces from that new platform I love just the, the way how it how it does I mean, just look at the detail imagine these beauties on your wall just amazing stuff amazing stuff folks great pieces here so go ahead and head on over there and check it out check it out check it out don't forget to leave a like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one stay informed stay ahead welcome to the future stay tuned for more updates on the future of technology and robotics thank you for watching rbai news visit rehdogg.com forward slash a i news